So we're at Simfest with Alan from AGH. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, four new modules. Four one, yeah. <laughs> You've hit it hard this year. <laughs> you did last year. Pretty yeah, last year. yeah, yeah. As you can see, I didn't go on holiday this summer. <laughs> well, we'll do a video individually, then we'll intro them all similarly, depending on who lands on what video first. Yeah. But we have a new sample and Holden slew first. Sample Holden slew, yeah. So what we've got here, um, 12 HP module. Um, there's four, four different, uh, four different things on it. There's firstly, there's a noise generator. Um, the noise generator itself, um, analog noise. Um, we have a colour control on that, which um, centre position um, is, is all pass. Uh, if we take it uh, fully clockwise, we get a high, high pass filtering of the noise, which, I mean, we'll, we'll have a listen to that. You can, uh, you can hear what it actually does. So there's our, there's our um, all pass noise, and then as we take it up, you can hear the, uh, the high pass filtering in and the low pass filtering coming in on it there. Sounds like that would be really good, Ve very gently FM in an oscillator to get that kind of, it's almost like a dusty crackle to a, to a tone. I'll have to try that. So that's, that's high pass and round to low pass. And then the other thing it does as well, we, can, um, we, we have a clip function. So that's clipping, that's clipping the noise so that we're getting, um, it's getting weighted um, towards the top and bottom end more. That's going to make a big difference when it's feeding the sample and hold circuit. Yeah, that's, the, that's the idea of that one. Um, so let's just, uh, let's just patch this back. Right, so that's the um, that's the the noise circuit. First of all, we also we have a um, we have a clock generator here on the um, which is a, a wide range clock generator on the on the sample and hold scene. So we can take it through the uh, the usual uh, sample and hold things. Um, the noise the noise from this is um, as we say we have we have different modules on it, but the noise is normalised. Uh, the noise output's normalised to the uh, to the sample in. And the uh, the clock on the sample is uh, is coming from the the onboard uh, clock generator. Uh, but we have a we have an external input for clock as well, obviously, and the clock can be used as an external signal uh, too. So we've got so that's our uh, sample and hold. So we have a sample and hold mode, and we have a track and hold mode, which is um, you know think sort of Korg MS20 on uh, on that. Um, so. If we go back to sampling hold, one of, one of the quite unique things about this is the uh, the restrict control. So you can hear that we're using there we're using um, we're using the sampling hold, um, which we're taking from the uh, from the noise, and it's the the, the we, we we're using the uh, the sample out for uh, for pitch to a couple of ECOs. And you hear that it's absolutely all over the place because the uh, we're jumping between uh, between effectively plus and minus five volts as our uh, as our pitch control. But we have a restrict control, and what the restrict will do as you as you wind it in, it it regu it it limits the excursion between samples. So you hear there, it's still the same white noise, but we've um, we have a much we have a limited excursion on it, and we can set that with the uh, with the restrict control, so we can. Uh, I think what's exciting with that, as we were discussing it, it's not an attenuator at all. It's still full range. It just won't jump from a really high to a low voltage. It's restricting the movement between points, not the overall range. In the actual excursion between samples, but it's not restricting where uh, the where where they can go up or down. So it isn't it isn't a simple attenuator. No. Um, the other, the other thing with the with the noise uh, when we're feeding it into the sample and hold, as I say, if we use the clip noise, you can hear that the the range has immediately gone up because it tends to uh, sort of maximum minimum excursion. Uh, Almost squares off the noise, doesn't it? More high values, more low values. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So that's the uh, that's the sample and hold generator, and then going from there, if we slow that down, the other thing that we have is um, we have a um, a slew generator on it. So with the uh, with the slew, if we switch it in, there we are. With the slew, it's a gated slew as well, so we can uh, we we can gate that. 
we have two different slew types. We have linear and exponential. So there's exponential slew, linear slew. We can also, we can slew up only. So here, when it comes down, it's, it goes down immediately. Yeah. And likewise, we can slew down only. And So with that gate, you can almost do those like free or free slides where certain accents or gate rhythms turn slews on and off. That's it, yeah, you can just, uh, just, uh, just fire it to the, um, to the, uh, to the slew gate uh, there, and that's exactly what you can do. And the other thing that we have, we can change the logic on it as well. That, that changes the logic so that it'll slew uh, on gate high, or you can change it so it'll slew on gate low. Ah, uh, okay. And the, the advantage of having it, so, so that switch to change, uh, to change logic, that also works as a, as a manual slew on off control as well yeah yeah um, so that that's more or less it the uh, the clock the clock generator on it will go up to uh, it'll go up to about two kilohertz then it'll go down to about one cycle every 30 seconds so it's fairly wide range no voltage control on it um, but obviously you can use an external uh, clock source on it yeah so it's yeah, a lot of function a lot of function in 12 HP yeah and I think with the slew and the ra the excursion restrict not the range restriction you could get some really musical sort of feel more like a random LFO than sample and hold at that point. Just really smooth. Yeah. I'm sure you can, and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to prove it when you do as a review, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have a good go at that. Um, so if you've yeah, if you've stumbled on this video, there's fixed filter band to come, phaser, new glide as well. Uh, three more videos. Yeah. Three. I can't count, evidently. <laughs> <Too early. laughs>